Cape Town is the venue. The mother city. And boy, is it good to be back with some rugby. The Castle Lager Springbok Showdown. The Springbok Green team against Springbok Gold. Green put together by Mzwandile Stick and Rassi Erasmus. The Gold team put together by Jacques Ninaba and Dion Davids. A near perfect day at an empty Newlands. This would have been host to the first test for the Springboks as Rugby World Cup champions against Scotland in July. That was not to be due to the pandemic. But here we are today with these two teams. And the gold team with a very pacey and dynamic backline. A couple of Springboks in the halfback positions. Herschel Yankees and Damien Willemse. Lukanyoam captains the side. And in midfield alongside the young Stormers centre, Rikus Pretorius. Courtnell Skosan and Roscoe Speckman on the wings. Warwick Kalant at fullback. And there are the coaches of the gold team. Replacements, Dylan Richardson of the Sharks. Dylan Smith and Carl Usadi, the other front row replacements. And then more replacements than usual. Ivan van a, a late call-up. After the injury to Jaden Hendrickson. Mswandile Stick collaborated with Rassi Erasmus to pick this team. Bongi Banambi in the middle of the front row, flanked by Oxen Che and Luan Dubrain. And JD Schickeling and Hiron Andrews in the second row. Sia Colisi captains the side of Springbok World Cup winning captain with Arno Buerta having returned to South Africa to don the colors of the Bulls with Dwayne Vermeulen. Man of the match in the Rugby World Cup final at number eight. Sanelem Nohamba gets to partner with Elton Yankees as the halfbacks. And Franz Stein bringing some experience and stability to an otherwise youthful looking back division for the green team. A former World Junior Player of the Year, Jano Augustus on the bench. Junior Pocomela, also a, a former South African schools and SA under 20 player. Across these two teams, plenty of former South African schools and under 20 internationals. The, the real next wave of South African rugby talent taking part today. South African rugby is committed to an environment where all are welcome, irrespective of race, color, creed, or gender. We acknowledge the painful inequalities of our country's past and its present, and that they must be eradicated. We must maintain and continuously improve an environment that is fair and respectful, where people from different backgrounds feel accepted and valued. An environment that recognizes and embodies the fact that everyone is worthy of being heard and in which all can thrive. We acknowledge that the only thing that separates one person from another is opportunity. That we must strive harder to eliminate discrimination and inequality amongst administrators, players and officials. That we must work harder to create a culture where each person feels seen, heard, and supported. We acknowledge that South Africa's Bill of Rights grants everyone the right to freedom of conscience, religion, thought, belief, and opinion. But we are single-minded in opposing racists and racism and discrimination of any kind. Ours is a sport for all, where we celebrate diversity and inclusion, and are committed to a better future for all. We celebrate success together, and we suffer pain, hardship, and losses together. Our focus is on the things that bind us, not those that would divide us. We are South Africa, with all its challenges, issues, and disparity. But as South Africans, we have proved that we are stronger together. We will not be divided. Well, the SA Rugby credo preceding this game and the last time the Springboks took to the field 
was in Rugby World Cup final in Yokohama on the 2nd of November last year. And on that occasion, they did indeed prove that they were stronger together. Lukanyo Wam, so influential in that Rugby World Cup final. Now leads out the Springbok gold team, followed by Skaran Tubeni, Springbok teammate Steven Ketsov. And Lukanyo Wam with 15 test matches to his name. And just presented himself as one of the form players at Rugby World Cup. Good to see Nizar Carr back in South Africa playing in the colours of the Bulls, having returned from Wasps. And an opportunity maybe for him to add to his five test caps in the future. Now the green team led out by Springbok captain Siam Tanda Kolisi. It's actually lost in all the euphoria of the Rugby World Cup win that he played his 50th test match in that Rugby World Cup final. Dwayne Vermeulen had his 50th cap in the opening game of Rugby World Cup against New Zealand and finished as man of the match in the final. And as he was on the 2nd of November alongside me in commentary this okay. afternoon, former Springbok hooker Hanyani okay. Shimangi. How's it going Shimi? Good to be back with you. No, incredible. Matthew, really good to have some good rugby good. back especially on an occasion like this, looking at the best of the best locally up against each other. And John de Villiers, former Springbok captain, is with us at the side of the pitch. Thank you, Matthew. A little bit different down here this time around. No crowd, no one surrounding me, but still the same excitement seeing rugby back here at DHL Newlands. All these players will be so excited Captain. to wear the Springbok jersey once again. Hopefully a good performance by all of them. Perfect conditions down here. Ready. And everybody watching, I'm sure, very excited as well. 37 test matches for Elton Yankees, who is the man with ball in hand. Andre Pollard is back in South Africa having had surgery to his damaged knee and has a long rehabilitation period ahead of him. So a chance today for Damien Willemse and Elton Yankees to go head to head in the fly half battle. Willemse with an early touch finder. Bongyum Banambi with the first throw. You would think that the green team would have an advantage at line-out time. Plenty of tall targets for Bongyumba Numbi. Good challenge at the front. The tap came from Schickeling and the, the gold team pouring through. The territory lost by the green team. First touch for Sanele Nohamba. Hugely talented Sharks scrum half. Clearly in front of the ball, number 11. And first penalty Point awarded top. by Yako Paper with uh, Malcolm Yar ahead of the kicker. Of kick, number 11. The advantage called at the moment. Started off with a messy line-out ball right in the beginning with Herschel Yankees going through. And really still the settling down period, but good opportunity for Gold to launch. Here we go. Jacques Ninaba and Dion Davids in selecting the yeah, gold good. team we went for a lot of combinations. Showing the halfbacks, Herschel Yankees and Damien Willemse. Skaran to Benny now with uh, his first opportunity. He's got Salman Murat and Marvin Ori as his second row. Let's fix it. If you move, Former they'll follow teammate. you. So gap to the Sikambu mark, please. Notch, yeah, at number eight. Gap. Come in. Just went to new levels in the colours of the Sharks at the start of the Super Rugby season in 2020. Ntubeni. To be a bit of contact on Marvin Ori in the air. Does manage to secure the ball on the ground. Herschel Yankees. Kits off. Strong carry from the Springbok loose head. And then dad through by Willemse, all on the bounce for Speckman. Wonderful little touch from Damien Willemse. 
Now that's a great little nudge down the blind side. Didn't have the overlap, but realized that yeah. there was room behind there for the little cross gra for the little grabber kick. This is well executed from Damien Willem. So Dwayne Fermil in desperate attempt, and it hops up for him. Just looking for the pass on the inside, but really positive start from the goal team. Out of the line. Pressure throw from Benambi finds Schickeling. Well, that's beautifully engineered by the green team from close to their line. Strong clearance from Elton Yankees to outside is 22. Yeah, there's, there's massive pressure on him there from Herschel Yankees. He okay. times that run beautifully. He wanted, wanted, would have wanted more from that, but it's all gold at the moment. Green under pressure. Oh, steal against the throw. It was J.D. Schickeling who got up in front of his man and Bongi Bonambi quick to pounce on the loose ball. Nohamba for Yankees. Strong test and beautifully Play taken on. out of the air by Yao Peng. <laughs> They lost the ball in the contact. Little flick on from Stephen Kitsov for Salman Murat. Stormers teammates in the gold side. And then Warwick Galant recently moved down to the Cape himself. Pengle and Yankees. Well, there's some smart kicking coming from both sides, realizing. But the defensive lines are up, so looking for those Just attacking line, grabbers or attacking kicks line. behind the defensive line. That's your line. But Jao Pankler, you read that beautifully there with Alton Yankees dropping okay, back. Yours. But still, goal definitely. If there's one battle that's been won, is the territory battle lines from the lot, golf yeah. team. Yeah, and that's the struggle of playing, not Come playing in. at altitude. You're stuck in your own half. Clearance kicks does not go that far, and the green team's full under pressure. Scarring to Benny with a cheeky little short throw to Herschel Yankees. But Loose ball quickly pounced on Morning, by Dwayne Vermeulen. Then Nohamba with the kick. And finally, some territory for the green team. Yeah, that's the that's pressure release that the green team were looking for. But Sanila Nohamba with that chase on Herschel Yankees. Yep. This was good. Yeah, look, Sanila Nohamba right behind him. So look at the strength of Dwayne Vermeulen once he gets this ball under pressure. One, two defenders straight over the gain line. And well worked from Nohamba. Four man line out called by the gold team. Let's get this sorted. You continuously move, so they will, they will follow you. Stay on your line. Thank you. No, no. There is. Okay, keep the gap now. To Benny. Finds Ori, but under some pressure. And that pressure transfers onto Herschel Yankees. Karam to Benny into the scrum off position. Very difficult ball for Stephen Kitsoff, did well. Yankees back in position and Willemse under pressure from Nohamba. Pinkley, just a little footing touch there. Ball drifted just back inside the field of play. It was a beautiful take from Yao Pinkley. Gap. Yeah, goal getting out of jail there. And again, just the, the value of having a very skillful front rower, Stephen Kitts, of being able to take that very poor pass from Skaram to Benny at his feet. And suddenly they find themselves with a bit of relief of pressure. Five plus. they all skillful, John. Assisting with a, a short and line out and the goal team go towards the tail Yankees taking a big shove from Sanele Nohamba Gianni Lombard with the first opportunity to run at the defensive line in Elton Yankees and his arm car quickly through to make the Bossy. tackle on him. Oops. 
here. And penalty goes the way of gold. They did leave him, go back. Stephen Kitsoff getting the, yeah. the plaudits from his they teammates for winning the turnover penalty. Well, it was also Stephen Kitsoff earlier on that caught that ball. ball off his toes, and Shot. that's where Stephen Kitsoff is incredibly strong. He's also got a poacher well, role as a Lucet prop, but really a big guy that it. strong, that powerful. Strong. Over the ball with the base, you're not going to knock. They still see it as a test match like game, they want to get points on the board. There's been a lot of semi-friendly banter between coaches and players in the build-up to this game. We saw it during the draft process, and that kick from Willemse has drifted away to the right. Yankees on to Rikas Pretorius, then Damien Willemse. Murat and a quick rack ball for Herschel Yankees. Galant off the left boot. Elton Yankees dropping back. That's good pressure from Lucanio. Army got a hand to that. It caused him a bit of pain, I think, as well. So green are going to get the line out throw they've been unrelenting though in their pressure on the the green team kickers yeah initially i thought that kick was probably a little bit too deep but it actually worked because the chase line was so good from the goal team but we've seen a lot of mauling it's going to be interesting to see the strategy i see a Khaleesi at scrum off chances are the green team are going to try go for a mauler use on a puerta who's outside alton yankees to take it up Pressure once again from Marvin Ori, spoiling the throw intended for Hiron Andrews. And Herschel Yankees has found some space there, but there were players in front of the ball. I think they have been Sikamuza Notche in front. Yeah, it, it was him, and you can see the, the experience of Graham Vermeer, and he was right next to Yaku yeah, Paper and let him know straight away that Notche was in front. Not a, not a bad option, I must say, that kick. Seems like the wings are coming quite a bit, so there's a lot of kick space at the at the back, and the scrum halves are utilising that. So just look where Dwayne Vermeulen is right next to Yaku Paper, and he starts screaming straight away. Gap's good. Five man line out for Bongyumba Nambi. Four for Mielin and straight down for Nohamba. Wonderful from the Springbok captain taking a short ball from Elton Yankees. Lombard. Shikiling, it's another quick ball for Sanela Nohamba and Bongyo Manambi trying to punch a hole through the midfield defence. Not much on here for the green team and Elton Yankees looking for his skipper to the outside. It was a good read from Rikas Pretorius, but a knock on some relief for the green team. Yeah, some relief, yeah, and a, a good read, you're right, there's zero blitzes in from Rickus Pretorius is out in Yankees. Go. Every time he gets the ball, he's getting rid of it quickly, trying to look for space out wide. But plenty of line speed coming from both teams. <laughs> Two in. Yeah, goal. Obviously, understanding that the that the green team certainly has some great finishes on the outside. They want to cut off all the options there. Rickus Pretorius just not getting, getting two hands to that one. The opportunity was certainly there. It's on. Crouch. Fine. Set. 
Stephen Kutsoff up against Luan de Bruyne of the Cheetahs on this near side of the scrum. That was a good set from the goal team. Yeah. Stephen Kutsoff just needed to keep that elbow up of his but he had. Yeah. It's the pressure was starting to build up. The scrum all is an interesting contest. Chasing feet. Okay, just stability. That's the Stephen one. Stephen Kutsoff goes down straight away, but well, still yeah. the early settling down Eight period. You want to move? Okay. And the far side there, Ox and Chair. That's why I stopped. And Ruan Dreyer squaring off. Opportunity in the Springbok setup with the retirement of the legendary Tendam Tawarera after 117 test matches. The last of those being a victorious Rugby World Cup final. Bind! Set. A good scrum from Oxen Chair. And Yako Paper showed the advantage and it immediately transferred into a penalty. Yeah, the pressure came all up. the left hand side of the green team. Oxen Chair did a job on Ruan Dreyer. As that pressure built up, you can Will see Ruan Dreyer's head pop up. And that's all the hard work of Oxen Chair. And now it's the, the turn of the green team to have a shot at goal. And that's the pressure Oxen Chair underneath the chest cuts the oxygen supply off. There's only one way, and that's up, and that's the pressure, as you can even see on the left hand side of the green scrum. Pressure coming through, coming through. Andrea pops up for a great scrum from Oxen Chair. They're into it, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Up off the, the <laughs> seats on the bench. Interesting hearing Sia Colisi earlier saying they've hardly had any contact between the teams during this week. They've stayed in different hotels and have, have made their preparation strictly in private. And here is Elton Yankees to open the scoring, which he duly does. Beautiful strike. Yeah, that's always a good sign. I think that the, the gold or the green team weathered, uh, weathered a bit of a storm in the beginning with the gold team dominating territory and position. They managed to handle that absorbent and strike back. But still a long way to go. Sean, no action for the centers yet. Yeah, not much yet. As, as expected, we, we said pre-game, the green team probably the better team from a set face point of view and they're showing the value of that getting three points on the board france stain losing control That's of the good. ball at first had some reinforcements arrived just in the nick of time and elton yankee's given a good platform from which to clear all the way up to halfway wow that's a great clearance from elton yankee's really a five-star clearance exactly what the forwards want straight in front of the forwards and our goal yeah, under pressure off. again double world cup off. winner 2007 2019 and such a, a key part of russia erasmus being able to deploy his bomb squad the, the versatility okay. make sure we keep the gap green france stain gave that springbok bench allowing them for the 6-2 split in favor of the forwards no contest on the throw to Salman Murat, but then just an unforced error. Um, Definitely unforced that. So have, have a look at Dwayne Formula's impact. He's at the side there, but that was just basic stuff from Salman Murat. They try to go for the mall again, and chances are it was going to be a box kick. Okay. Yeah, and sloppy, if anything, green. right, Jimmy? Okay, both sides. Okay. Easily took the ball, just the, okay, the chance for not being there. And slowly but surely, the, the green team Flankers getting the ascendancy. Don't move on the opposition set phases. We saw on the previous scrum. Green getting the penalty. Let's see how this one goes. The one thing that hasn't changed, Jimmy, the front row is really getting excited about scrummaging. Well, it took about 13 minutes to get to the first scrum, and then we saw points. But chances are, Boyne. from this position, in and out, Six. restart the game. Steady. 
The Oxen chairs winning their hit all the time. Quickly taken free kick from Sanele Nohamba and away for France Stein. Nohamba comes back to the near side for Arno Buerta. Andrews, good defensive line speed from the gold team. Awkward one for Nohamba. And gold continue to come okay, no more, piling through. Balls available, use it. De Bruyne. Have to rebuild again after losing a bit of the momentum that they got from the free kick. Nohamba. Challenge for Roscoe Speckman. Got it for a knock. Malcolm Yar was the man up to, to put the pressure on Speckman. It was lost forward by him in the challenge. Bondage over. And with the kick from Damien Willemser, advantage called over. Lombard. Deft little chip over the defensive line. That's been lost forward by Willemser. And another scrum to the green team. Yeah, Russell, you see There's a definite momentum there. shift here. Yeah. Lombard spotting yeah. the space out wide. We're just wondering yeah. which team is going to pull the trigger first in terms of having Even a set go. Hit the movement. Really moving from set piece to set piece, but he saw a bit of space out okay. back there. But the chase lines Water have break. been impressive and defenses Water airtight. Break. Yeah, and there we see Damon Williams just with a, a cut to the ear. Some blood coming out there. Luckily in this game, we've got plenty of substitutes. Kerwin Bosch will, will be a, the obvious replacement. Francis Stein just showing that, that he can still get over the advantage line and Damien Willems uh, taking the grunt of that hit. That's why we're going to get a bit of that, so let's yep. be patient. Plenty of bravery in that defence, but... Yeah, that's certainly something you do get from Damien Willems as a flav. You know, he's not scared for the contact. He's not scared to make those tackles. And Franz okay. Stein, though, so no big unit, you don't often will tackle him back. Well, Anne says an empty Newlands is a sad Newlands. But it is good to be back, <laughs> nevertheless. No it, it was a okay. surreal experience coming into the stadium today with... Yeah. No fans on the walk-in to Newlands. Yeah. I will. Just, just be mindful that you it's do like the same. a very nasty yeah. cut that okay. Damien Villa su sustained okay. during that tackle on uh, Franz Stein. And now we get an opportunity to have a quick word with Jacques Ninawa, Springbok coach and uh, commissioner of the gold team. Jacques, your thoughts so far of the first quarter? Um, Matt, yeah, I think currently where we are, um, uh, our big issue is currently the, the scrums and, uh, and our set piece. Uh, we're not getting delivery from the lineup. So uh, that's what we are currently have to fix and we're trying to fix. Yep. Good line speed on defence early on there, Jacques. We, we expected that from you. Um, yeah, and that, now I think our defence is quite good and uh, things are working well for us in that department. Like I say, um, probably getting our launches right from our set pieces is the key for us. Well, thank you to Jacques and uh, to Dion. We'll catch up with them again during the course of the second half. Another solid platform from the green scrum. And brings another penalty advantage from Jakob Paper. Stain. Gets his pass away for Malcolm Yar. Second advantage because that gold team was too quickly out of the blocks. Offside midfield, second penalty. And it's a better position for the penalty where that midfield was offside from the scrum and it's straight out in front. And more intensity from the, the green scrum there that really going down but midfield offside 
It's a territory build-up that the green team lost in the beginning, starting to gain ascendancy now. Oh, that's a mile offside from the midfield. Too quick out the blocks. So Elton Yankees, stalwart of the Lions in Super Rugby, spent a season down here in Cape Town with the Stormers. 281 test points to Elton Yankees and now he has six this afternoon at Newlands with his second successful penalty. Well the set phase providing the platform again to get another three points. We have mentioned so many times already Green getting the ascendancy there and even though the goal team has got all the flashy backs. Unfortunately, at this stage, they're not getting any ball. Once again, the restart directed at Franz Stein. Deals with it far more effectively. Mahamba. Uche. Still just inside the 22. Mahamba has been an absolute live wire. Good slick service for Elton Yankees. Test for Warwick Galant, which he passes with full marks. Murat looking for the offload in contact, but often opted to take the tackle. Oh, first touch for Wandesile Similani. Another of the players who represented both South African schools and the SA under-20s. Certainly no advantage as Gianni Lombard boots the ball downfield. So just a little bit sloppy from the gold team. They've made a couple of unforced errors just when you feel they have an opportunity to build some momentum. Yeah, the gold team trying to open it up. I don't think Damon Willems expected the quick hands from Stephen Kitsoff under pressure. Took his eyes off it. He had big JD shickling in front of him. Yeah, just the, the rhythm probably from both teams now. A lot of you know tactical kicking, trying to get that advantage. But I think once a bad kick comes or you know a knock on or turnover ball, that's when the opportunity is going to come to strike. He's coming in. Crouch. The undoubted Springbok weapon of Rugby World Cup 2019. This scrum. We'll ever forget the the sight of Stephen Kitsoff and Vincent Koch trotting on when. So much damage had been inflicted by Tendam Tawarira and Franz Malherbert. Yeah, that's fantastic play by Warwick Halan. Sorry to interrupt you there, Matthew. Great positional play and then an awesome kick. Relieving the pressure for gold. And now they can apply some pressure onto the green team with the defensive line out. Just had a foot on the line there in the 22. Warwick Halant, it was, a, it was close. But getting almost 50 meters on that clearance kick. Some might say perfectly executed, Matthew. <laughs> well, John, it's, it's going to be crucial here. Yeah. The, the goal team has been in this position to try to keep green here and then get some return from it. Well, the ball was intended for Dwayne Vermeulen. Marvin Ori got up in front of him. Somehow, Green retaining the possession. J.D. Schickelin. Clattering into his Stormers teammate. Skaran Tuberni, now the hoist from Nohamba. Even Kitsoff, not able to make anything on that carry. Now the hoist from Willemse, chased down by Roscoe Speckman, but a little too deep. 
good ruck. Easy take for Malcolm Yar. Andrews' support from Schickeling is good, important and necessary. Clean from J.D. Schickeling there now. Elton Yankis is hoist. On to Warwick Holland. He lost that forward. Yao Pentle up there to make the tackle. And it, you could sense that Warwick Holland just had an eye on the approaching winger. Forcing the error. A distinct difference between the two teams at this stage as well. The, the kicking game. We, we expected a kicking game. Both teams doing that but it's who can apply it better who can execute better and at this stage the green team Sanele Nohamba's kicking has been exceptional right. on the spot every single time for his wingers to be able to compete and as we saw there from Elton Yankee same thing putting gold under pressure once again and forcing Wari Khalant into knocking knocking on that ball See a Colisi and Dwayne Vermeulen just in consultation again. Lucanio, I'm captain of the Sharks in the Super Rugby campaign. Been loving the banter from the Sharks supporters, Shim, uh, as the season has unfolded, saying, you know, there, there's the Super Rugby log. Let's have the, the trophy with the Sharks' name on it. As it was when uh, the competition was brought to a premature close. Yeah, definitely the, the form team off. Well, in the South African conference, when Super okay. Rugby ended, Let's go. and they're playing some good rugby. Got to Thanks think of the guys, the Sharks players, a guy like Fassi, who chances I would have seen him playing today, who's injured. Yeah. Now you'll get it on, eh? Yeah. Oh. Same call. Down and then forward, yeah. Same call, that's a play. Then we'll play. Okay. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big encouragement from Arno Buerta there. Back in South Africa from uh, playing in Ireland. And the man who Sia Colisi replaced against Scotland in Nelspreit when Sia made his test debut, early injury to Arno Buerta, and on came a young Siam Tanda Colisi and earned the man of the match award against Scotland on his debut. The second one is movement and stop and then movement. Got to be stable. Yeah, that's penalty, penalty against Stephen Kitts. Settle and then go again. Trying to get his own back in scrum time. He wasn't a good position, I thought, there. But just the double movement where he went forward and then went forward for the second time. That's what he got penalized for. What are you doing? Shot. It's been massive intensity, I must say, at the scrums, really. Lauren de Brain has done well. So it's that movement the there from Stephen Kitsop, that second movement that he got penalised for. Work. That's not, not part of the hit. Mm. Franz Malherber, who we spoke about earlier, named originally in the, this game and then sustained an injury. So by far the the most difficult attempt for Elton Yankee so far. The previous penalty was for an offside in midfield that there had been an advantage at a scrum. So this is the third opportunity to kick at goal, resulting from a dominant green scrum. It was on track, but just a bit short from Elton Yankees. And Warwick Halant gets to launch a, a big clearance kick downfield. Yeah, I think that one was always going to be okay. right on the edge of, of Elton Yankees' range. We'd probably yeah. have preferred to see them kick for touch and, and setting up a, okay. a rolling well, mall or something. Opportunity lost there for Green. I'll, show, I'll slow it. Six, watch a ball. Six, watch a ball. Boone, make a good decision now. We'll come back. Limo, fucker, get up! Full stay. Get up, Limo, get up! Quickly out the back for Sia Colisi from J.D. Schickeling and stayed in the midfield. That was transferred forward. It was a good hit from, I think, Damien Willemsen made that hit on front stain. 
came up quickly, but the body position of France staying too high going into contact, needed to dip a bit to get that leg drive and that tackle fight in. But way too high from the big centre. Right, all in, let's go. Dudes, stability, Yaku. Yep. Yeah, that's Damien Willems are fighting. See France staying trying to get that ball out, and that's the four block opportunities. And certainly no opportunities for scavengers on the ground as yet. We expected Marco van Staden to have quite an influence on this game. Maybe as it opens up, gets a bit looser in the second half. But like you say, very set piece orientated and tactical kicking. Well, that's against Luan de Brain for collapsing straight away. And that would be great for the goal team. Been well conceded a bit at scrum time. But Luan de Brain, his legs went right underneath him on that hit or on that setup. On that hit, legs go straight underneath him. Lost his footing. Gap. Clear gap. Towards the tail they go. Easy read for Hiron Andrews though. No more hands, leave it. Use it now. No humba for Elton Yankees not getting as much as he would have liked. But at least some relief from what was a promising line-out position for the goal team. They enjoyed some territorial dominance in the first 10 minutes of this game. That last line-out, certainly their best set-piece opportunity in the half. Ivan van Sale and Kerwin Bosch await their opportunity off the bench. Come closer, White. Marvin Ori out the back for Van Staden. Penalty advantage, the, the way of the gold team. Yankees. Kitsov often used as first receiver. And a strong carry from him. Ruan Dreyer around the corner. Pretorius just unable to find his arm car. No advantage to come back for. The penalty. Backs. Dummy Mall. Backs come up. Green back line offside. There was a window of opportunity on the right hand side of that ball that landed. I thought it'd kick for the corner here. Yeah, I think from a goal team point of view, at least they were able to get through through one set, get through three, four phases. The fluidity not there though. You know the impact that you want the strike runners to to really get good momentum and quick ball it's just not there it's just lacking at the moment hopefully the deeper we go into this game we can we can see them get more comfortable with ball in hand because at this stage it, it certainly is still very very much stop start so damien Willemser has his first points and reduces the deficit to three. Just thinking back to the Super Rugby franchises clashing a, a week ago, Shim, the Bulls with a, with a very dominant first half performance from their pack, but really playing some beautiful rugby off the back of that, that forward dominance that they had. The green team here today certainly appearing to have forward ascendancy, but as Jean was mentioning, the fluidity not quite there. Now the chance, it, it will open up the last 20, but at the moment both teams trying to let that slow poison kick in. And once you go two scores ahead and you force another team to play, that's when generally you start getting some tries, but not a quick fire start for both teams. Really test match like out there. Use it now. No, use it. Herschel Yankees. Clearance as far as uh, Dwayne Vermeulen. Bosch. Someone got knocked over there by Dwayne Vermeulen. Oh, 
That's brilliant defense from the goal team. They were quickly up. But they'd taken a little bit of a pounding through Dwayne for Merlin, but refused to bow in his arm car. Affecting the steal at that breakdown. It's against J.D. Shickling. There was a fumble off that part off nine when he tried to grab the ball, sir. Oh. So Gianni Lombard gets to clear. And uh, there will be a, a gold line out about 15 meters inside green half Damien Willems are looking for every possible centimeter on that penalty kick to set up the five meter line out sack timing on the edge Springbok assistant coach Nzwandile Stick who took charge of the green team with his commissioner Rassi Erasmus Skaran to Ben for Murat and Yankees. Willemse Carr, did he lose that backwards or no? Forwards. Not going. I don't know if he expected the ball then, Izam Carr. Yeah, Shimmy, I think the key, the key to a good start to move as well is to have guys in motion and have guys running oh, angles it? and taking the attention away from the defenders. It yeah. was almost a, a one-off runner there again. And as you can see, the, the cohesion is just not there. You can see it's a team that has not spent a lot of time training together on these set moves. Crouch! Point! Set! Steady, steady, steady! Well, Stephen Kitsoff is going to get the credit for that one. He was asked by the referee to hold and hold. He did. He didn't make that second movement. That was strong and three flattens out full. He was penalized for earlier. And as that ball went in, you understand what I'm saying? Exerted his dominance. Now that's the pressure from Stephen Kitsoff. Look at Learn the Brain's legs fall out underneath him. Already. Could see the green team probably dominated the early scrums, but definitely a momentum shift. The scrum time, Stephen Kitsoff has come to the party. So, just a couple of minutes before half time, Damien Willem, sir, with an opportunity to square it up on the scoreboard. Well, he missed one to the right early, and now a, a pull to the left. So, a couple of misses from Damien Willem. So, just the one miss from Elton Yankees, and that was from uh, almost 50 meters on the angle. It came up just a bit short. Because Pretorius gets into the air early to secure the 22 meter dropout. Yankees and a little tip on from Murat for Kitsoff. No. Yankees for Dreyer. It's not on it. New advantage, green offside. And what can uh, Roscoe Speckman conjure up? Not too much. Not often you see him get the ball in the middle of the field. But now is an opportunity out wide. Still for Lovely touch from Sikumbuzo Noche for his captain, Lucanio Am, Herschel Yankees. 12 and 6. And no advantage. That green back line offside, so perhaps Willemse gets another opportunity here with just seconds remaining in the half. Okay. He is going to have a shot. He's one from three so far. Also took that nasty blow to the air in his attempted tackle on Franz Stein, sort of midway through the, the first half. 
買ってこう。Things very even in this game in terms of、uh, possession and territory, and very little of the game taking place in the 22 meter areas. And the handling errors have been a concern for the gold team, six of them in total, just really. Stopping them from building any meaningful momentum. And Damien Villemse from just over 40 meters out has、uh, missed another one away to the right this time. So four attempts at goal from Damien Villemse, just the one finding the mark. Two successful penalties from Elton Yankees. For the green team, as you would expect, some, some rust as、uh, these players make their return to full contact. At half time, it's the Springbok green team six, the gold three. A beautiful evening in、uh, Cape Town for the Castle Springbok showdown. The green team lead the gold team by six points to three with 40 minutes to play. Two penalties from Elton Yankees. For the green team. And one penalty from Damien Willemse for the goal. Jean de Villiers is with Mzwandile Stick and Dion Davids. Mzwandile, your team's ahead in this game. You happy with that first half performance? Yeah, we're happy, but、uh, I think our discipline let us down, you know.、Uh, we managed to put them under pressure. And then、uh, when it comes to our set pieces, I think the last two scrums in the game、uh, gave penalty away. I think that was a soft. Uh, penalties, you know, so I think we need to work on our discipline. But otherwise, I'm just glad with the boys, the way they're controlling the game. You know, when we get opportunities, we take the points. The middle part of the first half, you had dominance in the set phases. What went wrong towards the end? Yeah, like I said to you, we've, 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 we've released that pressure. You know, we were very solid in the first couple of scrums. And then also our discipline when it comes to the lineouts, where we lost about two balls in the, in the, in the first two lineouts. Otherwise,、uh, everything's still looking good. You know,、uh, second half, we're, we're going to make sure that we, we capitalize from that position. Good luck for the second half. Thank you very much. Coach Dion, three points behind after that first half. What needs to change? I think we're struggling a bit with our delivery. I think we put ourselves under tremendous pressure with the scrum penalties and the, the line out ball. A bit of over anxiousness there at, at the start. But I feel if we can get that right,、um, we can play in the right area and, put, and apply some pressure. Your, your set phases towards the end was much better, but your starter plays, the cohesion was not there. No, no definitely. I think that that's obviously that's a ripple effect. And、um, if we can calm down there and execute as we've done in the last couple of minutes, we will get the rhythm at the back. Good luck for the second half. Thank you very much. So, the thoughts of the two coaches, Dion Davids and Mzwandile Stick. Damien Willemse with ball in hand to get the second half of the Castle Lager Springbok showdown underway. Restart on to double World Cup winner Franz Stein. Sanele Nohamba just organizing things at the、yeah. base of the racket. Very tidy first half from the diminutive Shark Scrum Half. South African under 20 international. Beautiful service for Elton Yankees. Some effective kicking from the base as well. This is Newland. Do we see things opening up in the second half? Show me. Last 20, I think. It's going to open up here, but both teams are just also need to have some sort of improvement in terms of launches, which this looks more promising from the goal team. Beautiful drift pass from Damien Willemse for Lukanyo Am. Quick ball for Herschel Yankees, and Willemse had made his way round to the left of the ruck. Well watched by the green defence, Ori. Release! Yeah, there's a penalty there. That's just silly from Luan de Brain playing Herschel Yankees as he was attempting to clear yeah, the base of that ruck. I can do more. And Damien Willemse now lining、Seven. up a, a kick to touch. Oh, lost. Yeah, yeah. Unsuccessful with three kicks at goal. 
in the first half, along with the one that he did goal. And some positive intent from the goal side at the start of the second half. That's better. This was silly from Luan de Bruyne. Under no pressure, the line was set. Yeah, but he's defensively in front of the set because there. He's part of the rack. Then he's always offside. Oh, he is. No, but he's in front of last feet. You've got to cut. He's in offside, yeah. If. No, no, no. It starts a ruck, it stays a ruck. Ball needs to be out. A little variation from Scott and Tavelli was Marco van Staden coming through the middle of that line out, but again, well watched by the green defence. We were wise to his antics. No influence. And the Zom car. Play on. And the cutout ball is intercepted by Elton Yankees. Wonderful reaction from uh, Elton Yankees and also from Malcolm Yar to blunt uh, the gold team's attack and to make their way back. That's uh, the gold team themselves who have won a large amount of territory through that kick from or a Kalant. Uh, you could hear Jakub Pei, but straight away they leave it white. You've got to get your arms you, out of there. You're not going to win that you. contest. Yeah, but you made it impossible for him to clean. Yeah, well, we've only seen three and a half minutes of the second half. No changes at halftime from a personnel point of view, but certainly some change in intent. A launch from France Stein, just a, a gentle swing of the, the right leg. Here's the interception from Jan Kiesen. Good response from Malcolm Yar as well. To get that ball in behind the goal defence. This was here and this was the hands out call. You can see why Rari Kalant would be a bit irritated with that. Thought he had fair rights at that ball. Pressure on Schickeling. Fumble from the green team. Now Sikambuza Noche. Release. a graceful runner, isn't he? Ball in hand. And now Valimsa. For Cardinal Scorsan to chase. And here's Nohamba. Beautiful step from the scrum off. And Yaping click. He's been pulled back there. Wow. Wow. He's claiming he could have scored that, and I'd be inclined to agree at first glance. Okay. Well, just have a look. Yeah, we're j let's just check if there's interference. We'll check. We don't have a big screen, so I'll ask a lot of... Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, Joe, we don't have any footage on the big screen, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. Joey Klaster Salmans, who is uh, the TMO. So it looked like that player was leading the race at some point. So let's see if it's shoulder to shoulder. Beautiful from Lombard. Or whether there's clear and from Nohamba. Clever little kick as well. Now, By ten white. little toe on from Yao Penkne. And he's definitely held back. So we first look at the infringement, if there was an infringement. Can you give us some feedback there? And then after that, we'll look at the probabilities. If there's any infringement. Well, this is the area they're looking at the interference here. That hand from Damien Willemse. Yes. Just look at subs over there, captains. Just look at subs. So yes. the, the contact with uh, Courtney Scorsan, I, I think, is yeah. accidental. There, there does seem to be a little bit more intent from. Okay, so he's putting him back. Willemse. So clear it's influence. Be Damien Willemse's right yeah. hand. Okay, so yeah. that, that that's sounds it. to me what you're painting as a, as a cynical infringement. Yeah, and the, the question also needs to be as, asked: is a, a Would it have been a definite try? Six, six, just right. 
Can, can you confirm that? You say there's interference by Dean White. Okay, and it's a cynical infringement because it's... Okay, now, so that for me is a, is a yellow cardable defense on its own. Now we've got to look at another replay and just confirm whether this ball actually would have been probably been scored. If not, it's still a yellow card, but it needs to be a probable try, not a, not a certain try, a probable try, then we go penalty try. Okay, Unlink. just hold that for me, please. Just got to work through the process. So Yucca Paper goes back to his TMO and says that they've already decided so cynical infringement, so yellow card. Now, would a try probably have been scored? No, that's all right. I just want to check in real speed, please, Yucca. Just hold all on. Right. The point Take is, I mean, Damien Willemser gets to the ball and dots it down before so for, it for, for crosses it be the line. The ball needs to be in play. Yeah, I think that would you have know, been the a ball try. Clearly Cross the touch line or touching goal before you know, and there's no chance. Then we stick with the yellow and a penalty. Otherwise, if it's probable try, then give me that feedback and we move. Right, uh, Jake. So we've got uh, the the ball off the green player's foot that goes into in goal. Okay. So the ball, the ball is still in play. 14 green is still leading the race. Okay. But because of 10's um, actions, he's unable to get to the ball. Okay, so a try would probably have been scored. Correct. Okay, so we move yellow card and penalty try. Correct. Number 10, please. Well, this is a big blow. Interference off the ball for the goal team. The yes, that's the feedback, and we go penalty try. And penalty try, try to be scored. awarded. Yeah. Took yep. their time to deliberate. But the outcome is uh, the first try, the game being a penalty try. Yeah, the double whammy. It's just desperation from Damien Willemse to get back, but I think it was handled okay. well by the officials. It's a great Looked at all there. the circumstances there. Yeah. And well thought after the reason it's a penalty try, so it's that infringement, Damien Willemse right hand pulling back. Okay. Yeah, bench. bench uh, so and then from can, then on, would that try have been scored? Uh, well, Damien Willemse is behind him and manages to dot the ball sure. down, which means chances are the like, try like. would have been scored. So the yellow card for the infringement and the penalty try. Play the restart the conducted line. by Kerwin Bosch. Tap back on the gold side. That is a massive handoff from uh, Franz Stein. Herschel Yankees bouncing off him, but a, a good response from the gold team who get up and win the, the breakdown penalty. Junior Pocomela is, is also on the field for Team Gold. And that's Franz Stein. Went into beast mode for a second there over Herschel Yankees dropped and then he tried to drop Kalant. Shot. Yeah, de Shot. definitely some more excitement at the moment. It's not actually Junior Pakamela, it's Vincent Chatuka that's on the field for the goal team. Him along with Kerwin, Kerwin Bosch, Carlos Sadi, and dog, Dylan so Richardson. They have replaced Karan Tubeni at Hooker, Ruan Dreyer at tight at Nizam Car, and also Kortnil Skosan. And also on the green team side. We see Hiron Andrews and Luan De Brain that have called it a day and they've been replaced by Thomas De Toy and the exciting JJ Van der Mesh. Well, I'll tell you what, Kuhn Bosch won't die wondering. This is a hard kick. Halfway in the corner. <laughs> so plenty of changes uh, made already by the coaches. Kerwin Bosch straight on to take the restart kick and now have an attempted goal. And well, it had enough on it. Just to the right of the uprights. And France stayed. Looks to put in his clearance. Galant. And here is Bosch once again. It's gone straight up in the air He's from onside. Kerwin Bosch. Onside play. And that's excellent work from Roscoe Speckman. Little dab through from Bosch. Play on. Advantage, White. Leave him. 
Can't play the man without the ball. No, you got to lift it. Come on, guys. The, the reason also this game struggling to get close, John, and maybe you can come in here is that the outside guys are rushing up so high that you're struggling to get with the whole time. So every time you look up to get that pass wide, there's a defender there. It's not left it. Yeah, and it's not out. And the thing is, both teams are playing exactly the same game plan. You know, it's the bot game plan Good that question. they're playing, closing up on the Disagree. outside, taking away the opportunities, and you're forced to go inside all the time. Um, that along with the kicking game, you know, and, and then you sit with what we are watching at the moment. So it, it's very much, I suppose, in a way, expected. The execution not being there and the cohesion not being there is certainly not adding to the spectacle. Dylan Richardson of the Sharks, the replacement hooker. South African under 20 international last year. Finds Marvin Ori, his front started. Strong tackle from Umbunambi. Certainly a whole bunch more intent and energy at the front end of this second half compared to the first 40 minutes. And there's a bit of frustration creeping in on both sides. Earlier on, Dwayne okay. Vermeulen and Salman Morat were going at each other. Yeah. But a massive counter ruck. I think it was JD Shekin or Arno Buerta that caused the disruption at the ruck. Are you too happy with this fight, spot, or you want to move? Okay, shot. Are you happy? Same Thomas good. de Toy Stability. onto the tight head side for the green team. 12 test matches, a replacement at Rugby World Cup for the Springboks when Trevor Nyakane was forced home with injury. Okay, Crouch. Fine. Play advantage. Really strong from the green team. It was Carlo Sadi on the tight head side, and that's a beautiful cross kick as well. Inside from Ya. And then Wandesile Similani. Lovely line from JJ Pandamesht as well, but then. Another breakdown penalty. I must say, this is excellent work. You've got to look at Stephen Kitsop, where he comes from. It was a penalty scrum the other side of the field, a cross kick. And guess who's there? The prop to actually make Let's the steal the there. Front. But this great line, challenging line from JJ van der Mesh. The exciting passage of play. Two unbelievable kicks. First from Elton Yankees and then Malcolm Yard. A great attacking play, and then Stephen Kitsoff with the skill to be able to get that turnover. Yeah, but it's 60 meters. Okay. So. Four goal. Yeah, just keep it in then. Yeah, I know. What, what's impressive, John, yeah. so is that he came, he came all the way the back ball. from a scrum on the other side, on the far left-hand side, to make that steal. Yeah, please. It's been a good shift from Salman Murat. Told quite hard, but the game's lacked rhythm, but really showed some of his physicality. Numbers. And he's been replaced by Jason Jenkins. Marvin Ori with the take, now partnering Jason Jenkins in the second row. Jenkins, who won a, a solitary test cap against Wales in Washington in the first test match of 2018. No, you got advantage. And then you got 60 metres. I think this has been the frustration of the game today. No, you had advantage, but then you know, set phase is like this, where, again, just the delivery, yeah, it's about 50 meters, so. not being it's able to, to get it right, and, and the knock on there, that so easily could have been a, another opportunity to launch and get a, a good phase of play going, but unfortunately the turnover there now, the green team that can release the pressure with a good exit. That's it, you can stay there. Thomas! Crouch! Widely known as the Ox. Boy. Who is doing a wonderful job on this loose head side for the green team. It's a fight back from the goal team. 
fabulous response. Fabulous. Previous scrum and chair had to say and then almost looked as though he'd, he'd stolen a march on Carl Usadi, but and down to Nizin. Sadi came powerfully back. Follow. Kerwin Bosch with another go at goal, and I think it's fair to say that he will have the distance on this one a little bit easier than the previous kick. They conceded that penalty try, but they've managed the yellow card time pretty well, the gold team. That was a big scrum, and Oxenchair just turns his hip slightly, loses the power, and Sardi stays nice and shot. strong. So the power came right through. Good fight well, back from the goal team. The pump, you got, you came back at him. Just looked as though he and tried to regain his bind. Yeah, he changed his angle and Sardi just kept going, used his momentum going in there. That's where the experience comes in. Team, green team should have just kicked that down deep that side, let them play from deep. And Kerwin Bosch, <laughs> as John de Villiers predicted, with plenty to spare. Yeah, it's a great kick of the rugby ball. Solid strike there once again by Kerwin Bosch. Behind me, behind me. Beast, beast. So the penalty try and non conversion as the law dictates these days is now the difference between the sides initial yankees pressure on Vermeulen stands firm and takes a couple of defenders forward with him no release and no release on Vermeulen and a wild pass out of the back You've got to release and go back. Your wingers down. Yeah, it seems like Mitchell. Malcolm Malcolm Yar that's that's right. down. Managed too much, but him at the oh, dummies no, and stuff. Not on. Okay. 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 Once you're down there. No, he's Don't also up. Just on kicks, eh? Yeah. They're changing lanes, trying to contest the ball. Okay. Please check that out first. Yeah. John, I think we'll it is Malcolm. We'll we can see if, if it's illegal, yeah. Okay. Get that, thanks. Yeah, just covering his okay. face there at the moment. It might, I can't seem to spot him in the in the group huddle, so hopefully, hopefully, yes, it is Malcolm, yeah, so hopefully he is fine. I'm bringing a stretcher on. Sorry. Unfortunately, I'm to you, from I'm the kickoff here. Yeah. Once you're down there, then it's, it's illegal. So, okay. so once you're down there, you've got to play Ooh, it or not play dear. it. Oh. It's knee completely buckled there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, never nice to see that. Okay, all good. Hopefully he will be fine. We'll try to get an update as soon as possible. Whilst we were waiting for that injury, Damien Willemse came back onto the field as well. It seems like he will be slotting in at fullback and Kerwin Bosch will take over the fly half duties for the goal team. All seven green. Gap at the back. And some more changes, Jean. Cap at the back. Yeah, 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 sure. I actually Thumbs missed off. that, Matthew, but thank you for um, okay. for, for, for telling me sure that I was just trying to get an update on Malcolm Yard. Well, the mall is charging towards the goal try line, and the try is scored. Yeah. Captain's try. But great try. Oh. 
Get away. Yeah. Get away. Getting interesting now. Get away, please. Get away. What happened there? See how Kulisi did well. The ability to sense that he was probably going to get, get driven into touch. So he decides to spin around and he only had Herschel. The Iron Keys there. But this is what works for the no champ mall here. But the speed of that is pretty good. The front sticks and you can see the pressure's coming in from the left hand side. See how Kulisi senses that he might go into touch. Spins around. Try time. And the green team extends the lead here. It's just the traction here. And Sia Kulisi close to touch, close to touch, boom, around the corner. And he scores the try, rides that wave on the cockpit there. But well done to the green pack. Brilliantly worked. And amazing how quickly Anything? they built speed in that mall. It was very, very difficult to defend. Catch made by... JJ van der Mest, and then an explosive surge from behind him. There was a long injury stoppage, and they had water just before this lineup. Successful with two penalties in the first half, Elton Yankees, and that one is just not curling back enough, glancing off the right hand upright. Never. No. But some breathing space for the green team. Yeah, definitely some breathing space for the green team. You see Stephen Kitsov just missing the throw in there, not being able to then stop the the green team more. And Sia Kulisi, great awareness, knowing that he's getting close to the touchline rolling around and scoring the try for his team. The change for the green team, Junior Pacamela is on the field for Anubert. It was tapped back almost 30 metres by Roscoe Speckman from the restart. Strong work from Notche. Get released now, tackler out. No hands. Dylan Richardson with the carry now, Herschel Yankees. Carry from Ori, then Herschel Yankees, Willemsa. Check trying to hold him up, but working the ball down to ground. Now Bosch. Elton Yankees kicking for space. Beautiful piece of footwork from Roscoe Speckman. And Damien Willemsa puts it up for Speckman to chase. Daniel Nohamba doing his cover work. Six teams on it. Effective counter -up. Scoreboard pressure, time ball. pressure against the goal team. And before they have to go, they've got no yeah. choice here but to go for the well, corner. Let's see. Okay. Understand? Okay. It's done. It's going to open up this game a little bit now. Yeah, it certainly will. And just as we saw the previous phase of play, Marnie Lubbock, the one who has replaced Malcolm Yar for the for the green team. Nine. Herschel. So Marnie Lubbock in jersey 23 is definitely more coming up. Just hold that just a moment. Playing out on the wing is Ivan van Sail, who has six test caps to his name. He's replacing Herschel yeah. Yankees as scrum half for the gold team and the scrum going away of green. Everybody near skew throw. Yeah, skew. that's un unfortunate from Dylan Richardson. He rotates between flank and hooker. Chances are he probably needs more time at hooker. Very good player. Now look at that, dropped his hands too quickly straight off to the throat, didn't follow through. Almost just wanted to get it over and done with, but you want a bigger? missed opportunity. Yeah, so far I'm happy. From the goal team, but a big scrum coming here. That's, that's what I'm saying, on my side it was good, I'll stay, staying here now for that. We'll have this gap. Okay, locks. Let's go. 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 Let's
Crouch. Sit. Fine. Sit. Let's go, let's go. You can see the intent already, the intensity of that hit from the goal team. Okay, this side's good. Russell, and just throw sure everything into this. Between these two. I'll go that side. Let's go, cut it. On the foot, look. Let's go, Teddy. Yep, there's your mark. Play well. Junior Pokomela okay. packing down behind Stay there now. Oxen Chair on, on, on this near side of the scrum, having replaced Arno Buerta for the green team. Let's go, Guts, let's go, Guts! Crouch! Sit! Fine! Perhaps not long before we see Sit. the entry of Yano Augustus. There's another forward replacement for the green team. They did well to repel yeah, we'll that scrum no, from gold at the green side there. Was that lost forward? Lost it. That scrum was an eagle contest. Rasta Rashavinga had a clear view of that and was happy. No more! Leave it one! Yeah, it was too late. Pressure on Yankees. Roscoe Speckman looking for a, a quick throw opportunity. Yeah. The, the difference between yeah. these teams is Gold have had ample the opportunity. They just the Back conversion rate hasn't been Let's good. You know, good pressure again there, but they had the Water opportunity break. with One the minute. five meter line out, skew throw. One minute. And some more changes. James Fenter and Vanna Kock on the field for Team Gold. They've replaced Marco van Staden and, and Wari Kalant. On the green team, we see Sanele Nohamba, who has been replaced. Really good game by him. Sia Kulisi and Franz Stein. Yeah, They've fine. been it's replaced by Ambrose Papir. Always put any power, so it's great. Thanks. Giorno Augustus. Now, a former Junior World Player of the Year, Giorno Augustus takes his position as we cross once again to Jacques Ninaba in uh, the coach's box. Uh, Jacques, just your assessment with just under a quarter of the game to go? Um, yeah, obviously, Matt, we are a little bit under pressure currently uh, after that uh, penalty try and then uh, the ball try. So as you can see, we are bringing on our bench. We're looking for a big impact now and probably to try and open that up a bit. Shimmy just saying on commentary, Jacques, that uh, no shortage of opportunity created, but perhaps some understandable uh, rust uh, amongst the players lose, uh, leading to a couple of unforced errors yeah i, I think um yeah it, it's uh, definitely not a spectacle currently in my opinion but um but i think that is probably due to the physicality of the two teams you know uh, but we think we can we can uh, or maybe we can ramp up the intensity now and create some more opportunities for us thanks very much Jacques. as uh, play resumes and the ball lost forward by gold again they seem to be that's in right. control of that line out through that's Dylan Richardson. That's all right. First knock on. Yeah, and knock on. the mindset of the goal team is they are trying to pick up the intensity, but yeah. you know, we mentioned pre match in the chat about gain line it's dominance. Okay. Look at that. Who's go dominating the gain line? That's green there. You know, Lucanio M um, carried backwards and then the ball stripped off from him. Wonderful first contribution yeah. from Yano Augustus. Yeah, definitely. Making his presence felt. Yeah, I thought if he's given enough time, which he has been given, I can really add impact, especially when it opens up. He's got a good carrying game, can offload. And talking about opportunities, another two changes. Kate Voliter and Skulk Erasmus getting their opportunities. They have replaced two World Cup winners, Bongi Mandambi and Alton Yankees. Mani Ras also on the field for the goal team. He's replaced Rikas Pretorius in the midfield. Hook us in, blocks in, let's go. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Kate Vollett is on the bench tomorrow for the province under 21s. So Skalk Erasmus, South African under 20 international in uh, 2018, into the middle of the scrum. There's Kate Vollett, who signed for Montpellier in France to take up a contract there straight after school and was uh, overlooked by the South African school selectors, but now made his way back to the Cape. 
Ambrose Papier conceding the free kick for feeding the ball under the hooker's feet. James Fenter with the carry. And the first touch for uh, Money Rass. You're fine. We're going back for not 10. 10. Not 10 meters back from the free kick, so it'll be advanced. No, no, there's no hook, and he just whacked it in there. What do you want? Scrum may be an option here for, for Team Gold. Great attacking opportunity. Obviously, middle of the field. Two sides to attack from. Let's see what they can... Oh, he just, he just like passed it. What they can do here. The spin. Be a little bit creative. Use these fleet-footed backs to see if we can see some magic in a nice try by goal. There's a story in that graphic, gents. 20 yeah. penalties uh, in 65 minutes. It, it does talk to a, a very stop-start affair. We've spoken about the handling errors as well. 12 of those. Crouch. Set. Fine. Set. Pressure coming through from the green scrum, but repelled by gold. Rush feeling around. And sail waits. Two hands in the Marvinori, Fonseil once again, Richardson. Supporting behind him from Carlo Sadi and from Stephen Kitsoff. Richardson just managing to work the ball to ground. Willemsa saw that Kate Voliter had come up to cut off the pass option. I'm into contact. Better continuity here from the gold team as they build through phases. And as we say it, the era brings a, a, a scrum advantage. A one five. Last feet. One two. Marnie Libok, the man back deep in his in goal area. As Ambrose Papier waits. Clearance kick fielded by the goal team captain, Lukanyo up. And Werner Koch running. Not quite an obstructed line. And a hand in there from JJ van der Mesh. But offside is the call against Green. Never onside or offside? No, that's, that's lazy from Just JJ van der Mesh. I think he went offside there. But also, you got you got to back your defensive structure sometimes. You know, they shut it down nicely with Werner Koch. It's a slow ruck ball. Junior? Junior? You're in position, just left it. Don't, look, don't, don't stay on it. Just yeah, left it. Give it to you. Interesting, they could have gone for this kick on that middle, middle scrum. Yeah. yeah. It's a good reminder, but I'm not there yet. Okay. Look, Anyo, I'm just stepping in to have a word with Yako Paper there, just talking about multiple offences. And it's 15 penalties now conceded by the green team, so. Might have heard Yucca Paper there just saying, timely reminder. Interesting call this. Because they'd still need more than a converted try after this kick with just over 10 minutes to play. Now that was never going to be a massive challenge for Kerwin Bosch, so they're within nine. And Jason Jenkins claims the restart. Fun sale. And Bosch. And a prolific hoist. It's well secured by the green team. Into control. Possession of the ball. In the gold team's half. 
lovely ball across the face of the defence for JJ van der Mest. Papier and Schickeling. Took his eyes off the ball. He had a sneak up, uh, had a look at the defensive line. Okay. A good defence there by Gold. Good pressure. Down. And JD Schickling just, as you said, Shimmy, just having a, a peek and dropping the ball there. Vincent Chituka. The, the phase prior to that, putting in a big hit as well, and you're certainly seeing it, it escalate a little bit now. Ten minutes left in this game, only two substitutes not used yet. Quinzo, Quinzo blows it for, for the green team and Dylan Smith for the goal team. Replacement hooker Skalk Erasmus just receiving some ankle attention. <laughs> reference to Franz Stein's surging run early on in the, the second half. That's a fair comment, Jethro. There was uh, dominance from the green pack early on, but Gold have certainly come back into that contest. Led by Steven Kitzhoff. Two. No. Gold started off, or Green started off while well, Gold fighting back. So you've got to look at a guy like o Oxen Chan, Stephen Kitsoff. It was never going to be long before Spicy Plum made it onto the <laughs> Twitter feed. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, we all stopped with loose heads with Oxen Chan, Stephen Kitsoff. So two that are playing, they've had very good games, very good scrumming, good contest at scrum time. It's been a good battle. Another massive scrum from the green team. Now the pressure came through on the hit. The green team already had momentum. An oxen chair getting Carlos Sardi up. Here we go. Here. It's almost like the forwards have decided to just keep the ball in there. We'll sort this game out the back so you guys just watch us. Every scrum has been competitive and they've been going at each other all day long. And talking about front row stocks, shouldn't think about uh, France Malherbe injured for this game. Vincent Koch overseas, Joseph Dweber, okay. uh, a hooking option. Also Lizo Koboka. Trevon Yakane injured. Yeah, Matanzimo is injured. Unfortunately, injured as Achilles. He would have been in the next row. Definitely for this game. And as you are talking about the front row, Quinzo Blows and Dylan Smith also enters the fray. Oxen Chair and Stephen Kitts of calling it a day. Just a quick reference to that graphic. Shim. Chasing the Sun. Six o'clock tomorrow evening on Mnet. The first of five episodes of the, the documentary. Our special player here, the up and under, JD Schickeling and Augustus at the back. Well, this is going to be a try for Green. Did he get it? Well, it's messy, but it's effective and it counts for Jano Augustus. Delight in the coach's box. Yeah, that, that was the trick play. So, what they did was a two man line out. And they stack JD Schickling and Augustus out wide there and put the cross kick up so the taller guys can go up against the shorter wings. And it worked perfectly. Look, a lucky bounce, but it worked perfectly for Augustus. So, yeah, Kate Bullet had to put that ball up. Look, there's JD Schickling and Augustus. Well, let's have a look here. Off his head. Off his so, it's head. play on. Off his knee there. And he gets it. So off a head, off a knee. Okay. Oh, we're having a look here. Nothing out oh, of the ordinary. It, yeah. <laughs> a head, a knee, a and try. a try scored. Yeah, you can see the laughs in the in the box here. It's a trick play. They try. It's a two-man line out, up and under. Two tall guys out wide. Put them under pressure. See what happens with the ball, and it worked perfectly. That wonderful shape of the rugby ball playing its part. 
in the build-up to the try as well. Kate Volater. Oh, that's as pure as you can strike it over the middle of the crossbar. Yeah, beautiful kick by Volita and third try for the green team. The big up and under, J.D. Schickling putting new meaning to using your head. And Jarno Augustus finishing it off. Well, here we go. Johnson Chichuka with the carry for Team Gold in Kalusadi. And sail. And then James Fenter. Philipsa looking to offload in contact with it. It's a knock on. Ball was out, but it's off green. He lost so white ball. control as he went to ground, but just lost forward off uh, lost forward by green. a out. member of the green team. Okay, all in, let's go. James, keep that mm. All of us nice and square in line. Nice and square. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Dwayne Vermeil and packing down on the side of the scrum now Six. with Augustus packing at number eight. That goes straight to ground on the engagement. Uh, Quite a heavy there, loose chair there for gold at the moment okay. with Pakamela and but Augustus you, and Dwayne Vermeulen you as your loose chair okay, so will certainly help from a scrummaging point of view. You understand what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go. But you'll probably think last opportunity for gold here yeah, attacking attacking scrum. They need to score here to really stay in the game, and even even then it'll be a, a big ask. Upset. I think just dropping his shoulders below the hips, but I thought that could have been a reset to be honest with you. A relieving kick from Cade Voluta. Carlo Sadi, the man who conceded. That penalty. Five plus. Get up. And those two penalties in the, the last 10 minutes of the game have just cost the goal team. Can't help going back to that kick at goal when they needed two converted tries to, to win the game. that third try from Yano Augustus certainly seems to have been the killer blow for Team Green. Green or white? It's a wonderful it's call from that. Damien Willemse. Incredibly brave. Yeah. Saw it early, came from full back. Manuel Russ. Quickly back on his feet and over halfway. We're still playing at Vonage. And Kerwin Bosch's cross kick. In front of kick, 20 green. In this mall, the high bomb in front of kick. Uh, all the way back for a, a penalty at the previous mall when there was a, a green player in front of the kicker. Bosch gets his pass away and on the bounce to James Fenter. Lukanyuam bursting through the middle and uh, Marvin Ori to his right, linking with Sikamuza Notche, did that go forward? Play on, says Yaku Paper. 
Nothing. No, no. It's all up. Scrum. Well, what a break from Lucan your arm. Hold up. Hold up. Go strong. Half break. He's going. He's going. He's got Thomas to toy, so he goes straight around him. And look on your arm. Marvin Ori in support. Skumuza Noche desperately trying to keep it alive here. I think it's Jason Jenkins around, but just couldn't get it down. So big scrum coming up here. Yeah, a good play by by the captain Lukanyo Am. He had a couple of options there. Unfortunately, just not being able to get it over the line. So just don't close his arm, and I can go to you. Can they get solid ball here from the scrum? Shimmy, I suppose that's a big question. Yep. Well, you have to see. Uh, chances are called. They're probably going to try go for the scrum. Play advantage. <laughs> offside. Offside. Which number? 13 offside. <laughs> Thomas to try. That's a big strength of his. Very good work from him and exactly what the green team needed. Yep. Game set match. The green team beat the gold team 25 points to nine. Try from Augustus basically wrapped it up. But a tough physical grind out there. Not really a spectacle. But a good hit out for these guys. Swandila stick. Rassi Rasmus as the commissioner, good win <laughs> for the green team. Good to have rugby back. Yeah. Sharp me now, but mentioned today all in commentary that too many mistakes, missed opportunities, and they had enough territory. Kate Bolita put that up and up to get that try to seal it for the green team. Thanks, God. But thanks. Game. That these guys needed. They'll go back to the provinces now for Curry Cup action. Should confirm the score for this game. Green versus gold. Picked in a draft. Thomas Tutor with the late steal. Junior Pocomela. A try for Sia Colisi. See the spirit between these guys, and really, some of them will be up against each other in a week's time in the Curry Cup. As everyone will go back to their provinces tomorrow, get ready. France Dane back in South Africa at the Cheetahs. Teammates there. He's um, car back at Newlands. Really good to see the smiles on each other's faces. They went hard at each other. The two hookers, Bongi Monambi, Skaran Tuveni. Slow start in the beginning. Very test match like a lot of kicking territory. Been the key concern. Not enough opportunities for speed seller cross cross Pickman. Spent most of the day chasing kicks, but he did it very well, I must say. A massive set piece battle. At scrum time, team both teams exchanging penalties. The only worrying concern, I think, was the injury to Malcolm Yuan. It looked like Skalky Rasmus also went down. Hopefully, nothing serious there. But all the players all shaking hands, having a good laugh. It was a Quite build up, both team not really mixing at all, even though a lot of them are very good friends and provincial teammates. So we confirm the final score of this game. The green gold, captain by Sia Colisi, three tries to zero against the gold team. The final score, green wins 25 points to nine at Newlands.